To talk more about the legacy of Valérie Giscard d'Estaing, I'm joined on the set by our French politics editor, Mark Perlman. Uh, Mark, uh, Valérie Giscard d'Estaing had just one term. We have to remind people back then a term was seven years. He wasn't re-elected. Did the French just not appreciate his time in office? Well, clearly not enough. Uh, he wanted to be re-elected. It's not that after seven years he said, I'm tired, I'm going home. Absolutely not. He was still young. He was first elected at the age of, of 48, which was very young. And this was clearly a generational change when he was uh, elected. Uh, he was hampered by uh, the major economic crisis, uh, the oil crisis from the 1970s. This really uh, essentially created uh, mass unemployment for the first time in France since World War II. And and clearly uh, the economic outlook, and he was elected as an economic expert, someone who was finance minister who knew the ins and outs of a really a functioning economy. This hurt him a lot. Uh, there were also scandals, especially the diamonds uh, that uh, gave were given to him by Jean Baudel Bocassa, the former leader of the Central African uh, Republic. Uh, this was published in the uh, newspapers uh, before uh, the 1981 election. So this uh, clearly uh, hurt him. But there was also uh, not only his longtime enemy, the socialist uh, François Mitterrand, whom he beat in 1974, but who defeated him in 1981. But there was also this internal rivalry with Jacques Chirac, who died a little over a year ago. Uh, they were both from the same camps. Valérie Giscard d'Estaing was like center-right, and uh, Jacques Chirac was a conservative. Uh, and when he was elected, Valérie Giscard d'Estaing appointed Jacques Chirac as his first prime minister. Jacques Chirac then resigned in 1976, and since then, there's been this bitter rivalry, and Valérie Giscard d'Estaing, when he was defeated in 1981, accused, and there are some clear elements that he was right, Jacques Chirac, of undermining him and costing him that re-election, which explains why he was only a one-term president, uh, things he deeply uh, regretted. And the French people, uh, who are old enough, will remember in 1981, he went on television and he simply said goodbye and he left uh, the room and that was it. That was the, the image that uh, stuck with the French because he said goodbye, he was really irritated and he, he kept repeating that he was so disappointed that the French did not give him a second term, a second chance. And interestingly, one of the last times Giscard was seen in public was at Jack Chirac's funeral a little over a year ago. Yes. Uh, another key thing about Giscard is he was very instrumental in building Europe, a, a key architect he's described by several. What role exactly did he play in the well, EU? He clearly, this was really a, a commitment. He was the one who brought the French conservative camp uh, towards uh, Europe. I mentioned Jacques Chirac. Jacques Chirac, it's when he was opposed to Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, he accused him at some point in a famous speech uh, that uh, Valéry Giscard d'Estaing embodied uh, the party of foreign interest. And this was really uh, an attack uh, that was aimed at uh, uh, Giscard d'Estaing European engagement. Uh, he was, first of all, born in 1926 in, in Germany at the time. This was then Germany. And so he always had this thing, especially with uh, Germany. There were uh, some very close ties uh, with, the, with the German uh, chancellor uh, at the time, and uh, Helmut Schmidt. And so this was really a commitment. He really created European unions. He was in favor of European Parliament, elected uh, by popular uh, vote, a European Council, also uh, measures to uh, make the economies and eventually the currency converge to become uh, uh, a currency. This was after uh, his time. But he was really uh, instrumental in saying, you know, Europe is our future. This is what we need to do. In the report, we saw that he wanted uh, to have this European constitution. This this was uh, uh, then uh, a problem because in France uh, this was refused by a referendum in 2005. But this is clearly one thing that he always supported during his whole uh, lifetime. Politicians sometimes veer from one position to another. He never veered on Europe. He thought France's future was Europe. Mark, thanks so much for that. That's our French politics editor, Mark Promon. They're talking about former French President Valéry Giscard d'Estaing, who passed away Wednesday, age 94. Now, Valéry Giscard 